Welcome back everyone to another episode brought to you by Games Glitches. I hope you all are having a wonderful day cause I am cause today they finally released something that I've been waiting for for quite some time, grappling hooks. So in this episode we're gonna take a look at grappling hooks and in the next episode we're going to take a look at terror birds and definitely how to tame one and obtain one and what to do with one of them. So without any further ado as I love to say let's begin with the fun first of all we're going to start as usually we're going to look at the engrams as you could see here we're gonna scroll down the hook ends up being at around level 50 it is uh, currently past the glass wait I think I missed it Doo -doo -doo. there it is there we go, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, you need to have a stone arrow learned, which is obvious, and a crossbow learned, which is, that definitely makes sense since you're shooting it, and you definitely need to have 40 engram points, which is actually seems to be a little expensive for a grappling hook, but considering what you can do with it, it definitely could worth it. So, one of the interesting things that I would love to mention is the fact that it doesn't say where it's crafted. As you could see here, it says can be crafted in smithy, crafted in fabricator, everything says where it can be crafted in. The grappling hook doesn't say where it can be crafted in and neither does the stuff that you craft on yourself, giving one the impression that you could definitely craft a grappling hook on yourself. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me... Uh, disappoint you you can't uh, let me show you I have it learned and as you could see nothing what you would need to do you would need to go actually to a fabricator and you will find the ammo being crafted in the fabricator now let's take a look at the grappling hook and uh, uh, what you might call it uh, pattern it requires three stone, one cementing paste, nine metal ingots, two thatch, and 35 fiber, which is actually quite very, very cheap. So, uh, let's give it a go. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, to look for it in a smithy. Now, once you got your favorite crossbow, it's time to craft some grappling hooks. They qu craft quite fast, as you could see. And of course, you would equip them to your crossbow. And voila! You got yourself a crossbow with a grappling hook. This shit looks sick. Can't wait to go and try it out. First things first, everybody wants to do this is to drag their friends around with a grappling hook. I know, cause why the friends are there for if not to trank them and drag them. But the problem is, if you would notice, that when my dear companion Drongo, who decided to volunteer, took narcotics, and when I shoot him with the cross, uh, what you call grappling hook, he doesn't seem to be able to drag, and when he is not unconscious, all it does is do damage to them. What I do seem to be able to drag is other people's corpses around. For example, you grab a corpse here, and now you can drag his ass around. You can't seem to dra uh, drag uh, tranquil people, tranquilized, or any form of unconscious, but you could definitely drag their corpse around like a rag doll after you murder them. Now, of course, we're going to demonstrate through the obstacle course. For example, if this is the enemy base, you would, of course, aim the grappling hook, hold the left mouse button, it pulls you up. I unfortunately kind of was a little off there. Then, while holding the left mouse button, it would not let you go. What you need to do is now click the space And it kind of launches you upwards. That is the only way that you could, well, kind of let go of yourself unless you decide to collide 
with uh, a tree or something else. Whoa, buddy, are you trying to hook my face? Hook works very interestingly. For example, if you would hook to something and then you decide to, well, switch to a different weapon, you are still, well, kind of hooked on phonics. You know, you could actually use your other weapon. You can, while holding on and shoot and fight and everything, it's kind of becomes like a rope to you, allowing you to do quite a lot of things. For example, you could hook yourself up to a building while hanging off of it, shoot at people, or while you, you know, could uh, definitely hook onto a dino. While somebody is riding a dino or flying a quetzal, you could now hook to it, fly around and shoot. Unless they collide with something like, for example, a tree or a rock, this rope won't break. To reel yourself in, of course, you would need to switch back to the crossbow. And to, of course, to let go of the more wire, you would need to, well, hold the right mouse button. That's why you have that sound. And, of course, as you could see, this is me stretching it. I just want to see what would be the maximum distance that I can stretch it to. This seems to be, well, the maximum distance that you can stretch the wire by. Which is actually quite nice. And then, of course, you hold the left mouse button and it pulls you in. Once again, you are at the grappling hook, you click the space bar, and you jump and you let go of it. Of course, uh... You know, I kind of, for demonstration's sake, I shot in the middle of the door, so... It's understandable why I wouldn't be able to leap that height. And for demonstration's sake, so you don't think I'm trolling or making this up, once you hook yourself up to your friend's diner, including a pterodon, you will, well, hang on to him for the dear life. Oh, buddy. And of course, again, you could switch between weapons. And while he's carrying you, well, definitely yield an assault on enemy base. Including with, well, a rocket launcher. This is actually an amazing addition to ARC. I can't wait to experiment this with this a lot more. You know, you could do quite amazing things. And the only one last thing we haven't done is mountain climbing. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's go climb some mountain. I wonder if you can climb trees. Let's do a small experiment. Oh my god, you can climb trees. I can now special forces your ass out of a fucking tree while you're running. Oh my, this is a quite an amazing addition, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this could completely revolutionize the form of warfare that you could definitely have. You could definitely spy on people and stuff like that. And of course, you could just lower yourself as you please. Oh my, this is definitely one of the best features that they've added. This could change a lot of things for a lot of tribes. Definitely gonna make raiding easier. Whee! Now we're definitely gonna experiment with a grappling hook and mountain climbing. For example, we got our beloved mountain here. Whoops. Okay, apparently that's a little too far. And there we go, it hit. And now you could definitely climb up crazy ass mountain. Or definitely get out of situations if you're stuck in somewhere, you know? Wow. This... This is definitely going to be quite an amazing feature to a lot of raiding on a lot of uh, tribes. Huh. 
and slowly but surely you could definitely climb this entire mountain. I hope you all enjoyed this video on the grappling hooks and I hope you all will go out there and would have yourself some amazing adventure and fun with this grappling hook because this right now has almost limitless possibilities. Again, I would like to thank you all for watching. Please check out the next video on how to obtain and tame a terror bird. You know, I hope you, as mentioned, will enjoy your time with the grappling hook and would end up doing something crazy. Again, please click like on the video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And please stay safe in a world of arc. For all, for all we know, you could be eaten by a dinosaur at any given moment.